day three of being at EFT, um, but day two in the match. 3 a.m. finish last night. Uh, we were up with Mike and uh, Tony Winnick and a few of the boys till um, a bit later than intended. Uh, but learned a couple of things. Uh, there was a couple of uh, chaps mentioned how they caught chow fry catfish fishing shallow. So even though uh, the eyes may be a bit bleary, the mind is still sharp. <laughs> uh, but yeah it was a good laugh yeah good laugh said they took quite late and it's the alarm went off at 6 30 so we've had about three and a half hours sleep but it's a match we'll tune in turn on cop out another open water swim really but we have got a cast on air air so we're hoping that um we can get one or two um getting out getting our palm or two a couple of red tails maybe maybe a chow fryo alligator um Seems to be predator species are sort of the best chance, so uh, yeah, get out there and have some breakfast. We are on peg 13 today. Uh, we've got a nice little chuck down to the aerator here, fishing a couple of predator rods down to their carp rod out in front of here, which um, hasn't done a lot, but we're still going to keep working it. Belly's gonna get you, belly, 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 red ants. Um, but fresh hope uh, chaps didn't do very well in there yesterday but they did have a albino chow fryer and a couple of other chances the day before and chaps in 12 were casting back towards where we're fishing today and had a few arapama come off they had a very big chow fryer catfish fantastic fish for Connor and <clears throat> they had an alligator and lost a few other alligators as well so we feel like every day the pegs are getting better for us and uh, we're in with a chance. Um, it's just after the start time and uh, there's been an Arab Palmer caught over in peg number one by Grant. That's the only whistle we've heard. So um, we're, what, uh, 7.2 meters behind the leaders who were in the best peg, which is peg 11, which we'll have in two days time. So we just got to chip away. Our target today is, I would say, four meters. So five meters would be lovely. And uh, I've got a feeling if you average four meters a day, you'll be there or thereabouts. Um, it'd be lovely if the red tails are having it when we get the, the pegs nine and, and 11. But uh, we'll have to see what happens because uh, a lot of fishing to, to be done before we get there. Well, that's, well, that's about three o'clock in the afternoon now, maybe approaching three. Still haven't had a proper bite. Um, the lads down in the corner here, they've got a chow fryer and flicking out floating pellets and then uh, fishing a bubble float around it. I've flicked out a load of pellets out into the middle of the lake and then um, cast a half a fish under a float shallow, hoping that a chow fryer might uh, come in amongst the small fish that are nibbling at the pellets. Um, so I was just trying to go through all the techniques and the possibilities to get a bite it's as hard as it gets at the moment um the arrow palmer saved us last night but uh, we don't really want to be relying on that because it was a bit of a a one-off and a lot of people are going to be doing the same tonight i think by the sounds of things so yeah hard really hard i wish i had more footage is arrow palmer rolling all rolling right in the channel between where everybody can cast to they're not silly um not silly as us anyway uh but uh, it's nice to see a float out there it'd be lovely to get a bite nobody's really t tearing it apart the two leading teams are chipping away but they're not going nuts so uh it's not like it's running away from us so we've just got to keep plugging on as we have been uh, in the last two days <sighs> hard as names Well, it's coming up to five o'clock, maybe just after, don't know, don't really care. Um, and we're fishing like children now. We're literally doing what I done last night, which worked, which is the last resort, really. Got the float straight down, big lead on it, bit of fish. We've uh, put a bit of um, slop lum in there to try and attract the uh, Java Barb and Tilapia. Tony's over here fishing her. Big lead on the bottom with a bit of fish in the cloud. We've chucked some of the chopped up um, 
fish that you get here. Lovely stuff in around it. And it's shit or bust. We could do a one hour farmer, hour farmer, and a, uh, a two hour farmer, three hour farmer, four, I don't know. But if we could wheedle out two hour farmer and get out of jail after the day we've had, that would be tremendous. But, but uh, you can have a, Tony says he's just going to have a crack down next to the aerator. Yeah. Not that far, just moving along there. Along there, yeah. Just away from the cloud will be drifting down through there as well. So, uh, we got a couple of ideas, but they are running out fast. Fish coming down your way. Coming your way. Oh, you're on the inside anyway. I'm up. Still there, still there. Siamese, Siamese. Or an hour palmer, one or the other. Now yeah, keep concentrating, mate. Keep... Come on. Jesus, I'm shaking myself. I haven't even got the fish on. First proper bite of the day at about six o'clock, is it? So ish. Yeah, it's just yeah. Uh, ten past six. Ten past six, yeah. So keep that rod, keep that rod bent. So. As Dan would say, Siamese might. Steady, keep it smooth, so keep it smooth, concentrate. Nice fish. Nice fish. Steady tongue, steady tongue. It's all right. Keep get the rod down a bit lower when he's closer. Get, get as close as you can to so steer him. It's all right. Gonna come round again. Another chance. Get down there. That's it. Steer. Get lower. Get lower. Where are you, where are you going? Yes! <laughs> nice. <laughs> there she blows. Hello, the big bug. I hope you join the coming. Yes! Bye. John coming! You don't know me! Oh! Oop! Wow! Wow, 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 wow! Double? <laughs> Roger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, guys. Well done. I've got a slam. Don't boy. Hey. One or two more of them to be had in the last hour. Yeah. Are you winking at me? Slap <laughs> me in the face. I've got water in you. And slime. Oh, brilliant. Oh, pizza would get fish. <laughs> Think so. Another carp, pretty sure, yeah, yeah. I think it's a, another Siamese with about half an hour to go. Let's hope he stays on. Oh, 
Yeah. We think so, we think so at the moment, yeah. Well, it's already bounced up the line a couple of times, I think, Simon. I think so. Yeah. So, um, five Back at the lodge and mixed emotions. Uh, fantastic, Tony getting his um, nice eight pound Siamese, and then it just it was a proper gangster. It went bang bang, and uh, yeah, it went bang bang. And um, I hooked one just after Tony. Powerful fish. They've all been good stamp fish of sort of. 78 pound plus the two that we've had and the one that I hooked and just after about a, a short three or four minute fight just came off one of those things um, it was one of those that uh, I would have loved to have stayed on because uh, uh, for, for what it meant in the match it would have meant us having 2.4 meters instead of 1.2 meters and we, we would have took um, uh, 4.4 meters into day three instead of uh, 3.2 um, the chaps in 11 on the first day and nine on the second day looked like they could have, have done enough already and really utilized the corner pegs pegs um, 11 and 9 and uh, they've they've smashed it today they had a lot of fish at the end there and they could easily be somewhere around 20 meters already and I I suspected 20 or 25 meters would, would win it so unless we do better than they do uh, they have done in the um in the corner pegs it's going to be difficult for us but um i'm going to keep going the pegs are getting better each day lovely to uh have a couple of chances of some siamese at the end uh, because there's not been many caught around the lake uh cast about 20 meters into the uh uh sort of second shelf i think helped um got a feeling the fish want to be in the shallow water uh, due to oxygen conditions and we just kept landing that lung ball in the same spot feeding a few boilies around it towards the end just fishing the lung ball <coughs> and and we had a couple of chances which is pleasing uh, the chaps in in uh, 12 today uh ad and colin they, they had a few chances but they were telling us that they thought that the water was much shallower there which which sounds good, you know. We'll have a little plumb around in the morning and uh, see what's see what's what on the bottom. So we'll um, be able to work out where we're going to fish our carp rods, and um, and then go accordingly to that, and maybe fish two carp rods, maybe two predator rods, uh, maybe and a carp rod. But we'll see see what's happening. Um, yeah. So it's end of day two, uh, third day we've been here, and. Yeah, I'm ready for the uh, selection of uh, Thai, uh, a Thai buffet, selection of uh, Thai delights, um, all different to the ones we had on the second day. So I'm going to get stuck right into that. I'm starving. Pretty pretty moist as well. Just uh, jumped in the water for the photo. It's only a uh, good shower and um, get up and see the boys have a bit of grub. Okay, so um, day two is over. Um... 34 fish caught today, there was 35 fish caught yesterday, but it sounds like there were a few more fish lost, so maybe it was a little bit more active today. I uh, started off uh, off with a bang with that stingray, and uh, so that was pretty exciting to get started. I did a judge's ruling on that, where the stingray couldn't come any further in, it was against the concrete, so the ang I, I gave it to the angler as, like a, as a leader, so that, that was just kind of a ruling I made. So we'll make that standard, any other stingray, or the other big stingray, there are small ones that are about 50 centimeters. Those ones need to go in there. But any other big stingray, as long as it's, it's come in and it's against the concrete, we consider it a catch. Okay? Same as yesterday, Simon and Lee. We've got a total of 21 fish now, 870 today. So their new total is 1790. 1790. Put them, puts them in first place. Positions are over here. Second place overall is Darren and Kevin. 
they were in second today. So, uh, okay. Third place, Connor <laughs> and Paul, They've got, they had 400 today, total six. No, 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 no sorry, sir. Third overall, yes. Yeah, but, uh, okay. Third for today, yeah. Third for today was Connor and Paul. Third overall is uh, Tony and Mark. Okay, tomorrow's another day. Are you guys going to do your, did you do your, uh, did you have a pool today? Or I, yeah, I had a pool, yeah. I'll just want to mention that um, there's a ton of guys I ain't turned up yet. I'm really happy to turn up tomorrow, which is Ivan and Polly. A few things with Sean and Parents and Prince of Fish, that'd be really nice. <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of balls of good, you know <laughs> And uh, the poo bag is going to one of you lot, so do you want to come and collect it? Oh, it's being transferred. subscribe please well here we are day three of the march day four of us being here we're in pick 12 now and it feels nice we're on a bit of a, a point swim so we've we've worked along here and here's the point and uh there's tony and then it comes around into the bay over here where uh, colin and adrian are hello <laughs> hey yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> then that's where we'll be tomorrow. Uh, but um, we're doing Tony's method today. We're slapping. He loves a good slapper. And um, we've had three chances already. Uh, uh, um, shallow, very shallow, on the float and, and jigging it to create a bit of, uh, bit of noise, which uh, when the lads are firing out the pellets, is probably almost as good, really. But the fact that there's no other bait around it apart from our own, uh, it's it's. Uh, I'm still gonna get, I'm gonna say the fateful words. It's gotta work. Uh, how many times I've said that in Thailand? That's a chow prior, big chow prior, or Mekong. Um, but we've had three chances on the, on the slap when I was uh, when I was working it, and I hooked the first one. It was on briefly, came off the second two. I didn't touch him at all. All gar probably. Um, normally, if you get a bite from an arrow palm or a chow prior they'll take it and, and, and move off with it. Whereas the gar, the float goes under and it doesn't go anywhere. And, um, and that's what happened all three times. Uh, we've got um, uh, the cart rod out over towards bungalow seven. And we've got a margin rod or one fairly close in down here for a predator. So it's two predators in the carp. Uh, just slipped a bit of fake corn on with uh, a strawberry and embuteric sticky baits pop up. Uh, which done done the trick yesterday and got us a couple of bites in the end uh, Which was I think the only two bites on the cart rod for anybody all day I say so uh, People are a bit disillusioned by the cart rod, but it keep plugging away and plowing it into uh, the same spot about 20 22 meters out by the length for a cricket pitch and uh, Hopefully we'll we'll get one LBW towards the end of the day um, Lovely if we could just chip away get a couple of carp um, but it's uh, it's interesting. We feel like because we're on the point now, we're able to cast to or very near the fish that are rolling in the central channel, and possibly you know just pick pick one off or get a chance every now and again. Don't you get loads of chances to to uh, to make the day? So uh, we're going to chip away and see what happens. Uh, it's about nine o'clock now. I think we've been fishing about an hour. Oh, the cart rod's got liners again. Lovely when it went yesterday in the evening, very unexpected, but a lovely surprise. Beautiful Siamese for Tony, about 80 pounds, and then uh, the one that came off for me 
would have been up around there. It's hard to tell. They all seem to be 70 pound glass. Uh, but we're, we're keen. We're keen. We're in a better peg. And we're keen. Yes! Not a bad one, is it? Not a bad one. Yeah. I didn't know they had a mini this small, to be honest. That's small. Ready? Go on it, Carl. Sun's behind you a bit, but we'll do our best. There she is, cracking fish. Brilliant stuff, Carl. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> now you get, now you can get on the beard with justification. <laughs> yeah, do, do, do you want me to help you out? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> well, it's absolutely pissed down, and as as the downpour was going on, we managed to get a Siamese carp of around. 50 pounds. Oh, uh, uh, oh uh, didn't, it was hammering down so we didn't get any footage of the fight. But uh, it's a nice fish. All right. What a gorgeous fish. Like a ball. Oh, what's going on down here then? This looks like people catching fish might have a red tail this time have you yeah. oh, this is pretty red over here as well <laughs> red belly <laughs> <laughs> red belly pa oh no. no oh you wanker he's bro broke the hook length oh no he's above the swivel is it is, is that the same as yesterday that's above the swivel, isn't it? That was fucking big. That felt bigger than the other. The time is Don't five. Do that. Five, five, five fifteen, and uh, blowing and liners and ridiculousness. Uh, just fed, just recast both rods. Fed some boilies, fed some pellets, and blowing all over us again. And it's just baffling. I, it's hard to know exactly what to say, really. Um, uh, we, uh, well, we've still got hope. It's just nice to actually get another run to make us realise that. Look at that. Look at them. The line, the lines of liners here. They're absolutely pick it up here. The line bites here are tremendous. Both Both lines are. It's not even light liners, it's almost like it's fish around the feeder. Maybe it's very small fish pushing it around. But the blows out there that suggest that it's it's bigger fish than that. Uh, I'm sure if you can pick that up, but both lines are dancing. Um, but we're not. Uh, we're hoping. And uh, we've got about an hour and three quarters to, to winkle out those two fish that we so dearly need to keep us in it. Um, but we're in it to win it, and it's the win fest. So uh, we'll keep going. That's it. Doesn't feel like a carp, but it probably is. Look at the bubbles. Well, liners are going absolutely crazy. I thought Tony's was going to go. Yours tightened up. And uh, I thought yours was going to go, because yours tight. I thought they were both. Yeah. <laughs> sure, if it's a carp. Yeah. Bumping off it a lot, carp. Yeah, probably is. It's probably it's on the, it's on the other rod, so it feels a bit different. I think. Pellet and boilie done the job. Scared a few fish, but they'll be back with a bit of feed. So it's only a little one. Oh, Why? Well, I want it to be a little one. Get him out quick. Oh, got the Siamese in the net fish. We think somewhere for between 60 and 70 pound. Camera's playing up. It's all happening. There she is. Not quite. Probably 60. Right. 
Lovely. That's Super. bigger than the one you had earlier. Yeah, yes. It's yours, Tom. Just had a massive bang again. Huh? Just had a massive bang and it didn't go. But I hadn't moved the feeder. 40 minutes to go. Blows everywhere. Line bites galore. Um, two Siamese banked. Oh, look at that. Look. That was definitely a, an aborted run. Huge cloud of bubbles just come up from the area where Tony's Tony's bait ball is. And, uh, and there's a, possibly a, a fish spooked off the spot after after feeling something bumping into the line or who knows but uh just feels like we should could be should be getting one a chuck at the moment with what's happening well, i've hooked another one uh, i think he's coming adrian have you got one out in front yeah. lovely too mate Weirdly, weird. He was miles away from the feed by the time he registered. Miles to the left. Yeah, probably. Go hall. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Yeah, I made a, I made a fish hold itself out there like this for a little while. Hey. Yes, in the net, in the net, in the net. Chance, I can't hold it out. Alright, lovely. Well, that Siamese is, I reckon, between 95 and 100 pounds. <laughs> and he's strong. So we're going to let her go. Well, here we are, back at the, uh, back at the room. Beautiful room. Stunning. And go. Uh, well, it's uh, been an interesting day. Managed to winkle out three Siamese, one about 50, one about 60 to 65, and the last one, if it wasn't 100 pound, then it was very, very close, uh, which is very pleasing. It was uh, frustrating at times with all the liners and indications and bubbles, uh, but we kept spawning in the, uh, the pellet and uh, crushed boilies and dropping the lumb balls on them, and should have had more, or could have had more. I don't think we could have done much different, but uh, but we, we, we've we kept ourselves in it. Just spoke to the, the lad from the team that's leading, and they've done brilliant in a swim that's hard work. They've had Asian red tails, Siamese, and a red tail, so they've sort of stayed with us today. We're hoping to gain a bit on them, uh, but we've, we've stayed with them. And uh, the organizer, Tony Winnock is in peg one today. He's had three hour palmer, whack of red tail. So he's up there. And I think Darren as well and uh, and his partner, they've done very well today out of a, a nondescript swim that we struggled in. So it's tight, tight, tight like a tiger. Um, 
but it's it's shower time, food time, uh, Gert buffet. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I am going to tuck in and uh, enjoy it. But um, we'll see you up at the um, what do you call it? Clubhouse. Yeah. Uh, come to give you an end. We actually, by our calculations, had less fish today, less numbers of fish, but a lot more, uh, a lot more length. I'm sure you guys would all like a lot more length. We got uh, 50, 50, 52, 10 all together. I compared the, the length of all the fish for the three days. So uh, everybody caught today, which was great. That's awesome. Um, although someone's got to be the shithead and wear the shit hat, so uh, <laughs> who's that today? So the shit hat's going to go to the people that got an hat tonight, which oh. is Richie O'Rourke. <laughs> hey! Okay. Come on, Richie. We're all wearing the whole thing tonight. It's the only thing I'll win all week. Oh, you got that. There you go. <laughs> The food will be ready in just two minutes. We're just carving the, uh, we've got lamb tonight, boneless lamb. Yes, we have mint sauce, and they're even going to have the gravy hot. They didn't realize they had to have hot gravy, so they got our gravy. <laughs> so tomorrow's day four, a lot of things have happened on the scoreboard. Uh, but one thing that hasn't changed. One thing that hasn't changed. Simon and Lee are still in first place. Although it's getting quite tight now, we've got uh, Connor and Paul on their tail. Not, they're like an arrow palmer behind, something like that. We've got uh, Tony and Graham sneaking up a little bit. And Darren and Kevin have been consistent again. They've been in third, second, and third. No, actually, you're not the most consistent anglers all week. Um, someone's had. Uh, she was a gentleman that got, got grabbed by the alligator today in the... In the yeah. Yeah. Steve. Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve's yeah. the most consistent with two fish. That's two fish every day so far. Of course, Steve, you get two fish, fish every day. Steve's got the most consistent team. Most consistent team. And his assistant, Mark Lummer's assistant. There's been more fish caught today than any other day. Mm. Well, we're going to go through and check, we're go through and check the stuff. Uh, I want to see the state of the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Alright guys, two, two more days to go, and I would say it's still wide open depending on your late position, so uh, it's going to be interesting. Especially with people catching three hour bomb a day, who knows what's going to happen. Okay, good luck tomorrow. Just a quick one. The winners of today for the Paul's money with 1150 centimeters, Paul and Connor. Yeah. Well, after day three, uh, things are hotting up and getting interesting. And uh, we've got the leaders here on. Uh, they've done very well today, getting 2.7 meters from um, a tough peg. And uh, they've, they've got just over 20 meters. Second is 18 meters. And then you've got 12 meters. I think there's a 10 meters, 9 meters. And it's 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 getting interesting. There's going to be uh, there's going to be some uh, very tight, very tight last couple of days. The people in the corner pegs must be you know rubbing their hands. Which we've got a chance. We're we're still in it, but it's a, there's a lot of work to do. Hell of a lot of work to do. We're hoping to get a dozen red tails in our farm above days and give ourselves a chance of getting 25 meters. I think that's what we need. And, and the ongoing prediction. <laughs> Ah. I still haven't changed my prediction. Yeah. I still oh, think yeah. the Bataya boys can do it, but it's going to be a hell of a big come from behind if the slappers can pull it off. Ah, we love it that way. <laughs> Super. Like and subscribe, please. Well, here we are. Day four of the match. Day five, we've been here and we are in peg 11. We've been waiting to get down here. We're in the corner. Peg 11 today peg nine tomorrow and this is where people have made hay on the predators so we are fishing down into this corner here with chicken hearts bits of fish and uh, basically basically red tail hunting uh, the old arapama hoping to get 
10 meters a day so get 20 meters in the last two days will give us a fair shout we think but it's a long way to go we gotta we gotta hook them and we gotta land them and we could do with a nice fast start um, we've been fishing now about 15 minutes uh, had a couple of uh, bits of bait nicked off, nicked off um, first shuck and we've got the cart rod down here fishing out same as we were yesterday similar distance spotting some crushed boilies pellets and some whole boilies over it hopefully get a few blows get a few liners and get a, a little bonus carp or two um, uh, the chaps uh, we got Colin and Adrian in nine today they done well in this one yesterday I think they had an arrow palmer and seven red tail something like that um, and we've got to utilize it we've got to get ourselves 10 meters whether it's uh, eight red tails an arrow palmer or or uh, a dozen red tails uh, we don't really mind and a carp will get some flicks now but we'll um we're gonna give it a good go there we go. First fish of the day. Little Asian red tail. We're off the mark. And I'm shaking a bit. Giddy. Well, we got a little uh, friendly little moggy, which is almost identical to my little Lee Meow. And she's lovely. Loves it. Come round to say hello. <coughs> Give her a bit of fish. And uh, as Tony said, friend for life. I wonder if you'll fit in my suitcase. Oh, my line's giving a bit of a bang now. She bangs. <coughs> it's about, uh, what time is it? 20 past 10, and we've still only had the Asian red tail. Uh, Start to get the bubbles and the liners on the carp rod as we did yesterday. Um, hopefully, not more frustration. And uh, there, yeah. there she is, little moggy. Well, we just had a run. Fish the uh, the bait fish in front of the air. Might, might be an arrow palm, you know. I don't know if it is. Just a lazy red tail, I think. <sighs> There's a chance. It feels weird. Might be worth getting a cart rod out, Tone, just in case. I wanted to recast it anyway. <whistles> Keep them away from your predator rod, then, can I? Seen it yet, Judge? Red tail. Woke up now. He stabbed up the fucking net. Okay, first yeah. red tail, we're away. Well, we got a meter and a half on the board now. Asian red tail and Amazon red tail. Got beautiful cloud formations above us, just taking the heat of the day away from us. Uh, on my on my predator rod here is liners galore. Absolute liners galore. And uh, well, we've worked out if we can get 
a fish an hour for the first nine hours and six in the last three that'll give us 15 fish for probably somewhere around a dozen meters if one of them's an arapama or get a siamese maybe we can uh, get ourselves to 13 14 meters which i think would uh which would obviously uh probably take the pressure off the last day a little bit but still a long way to go we've only had two fish but oh hey who's gonna go then but it's looking good here we go the cart rod's just gone off it's somewhere between it's good it's a good it's a good siamese if it is a siamese yeah that looked nice a little kick hey I've just seen the fish crack inside me's carp. Very good stamp of fish in here. She's not far away now. Tony's doing a great job. No, lovely and smooth. It's the key to landing good Siamese carp. No sudden jolts. There she is. Oh, look at that. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. It's nearly done. Might be this time around. There she is, good fish. A lovely hook hold there in the corner of the mouth. There she is. There she is. Come on. Slip it down, mate. We've got enough values. Oh, you want some good ones? That was a nightmare. It never stopped, did it? Oh, fishy. There we go. My red tail. Red tail. <laughs> Ooh. At least he's not going towards the aerator. <whistles> yeah, he's, uh, he's yeah, he's just been chucked out, hasn't he? Nice fish, big red tail. Good fish that. Beautiful fish. Yeah, loads of focus. Yeah, fish. 50 odd pound I reckon. Yeah, easy. Nice. Width of him, look at the size of his head. Nice, Bigger head than you have. Just doing the spot mix here, we got a, a bit of lamb. A few, uh, few little fish meal pellets. And then we got the, uh, the boilies that the lake provide. That, break up very easily so the plan is get it all a bit damp a bit moist and then when it goes into the spawn we'll put it in the spawn with something like that hope it'll go down to the bottom break up on the way down a little bit lots of loveliness in there Siamese seem to respond to the feed here Keep casting the lumb ball about every 20 minutes or so. Build up the peg for the hot time later. Get a few red toes as well, hopefully. Well, Siamese cart rod's going again. Um, 
give it a sec. It's fast, it's fast enough not to be a big fish. It's fast enough not to be a big one. What a can! <laughs> he said, "You're doing some fucking about with that." <laughs> ah. Felt like a small one to start with by the speed, but he's holding his own now. I thought it was going under it. I think he's kiting back to the right now. Keep an eye on it. Yeah, it's nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah. Oh, get in. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, that was very good. Go. Oh, he's a nice, never nice gahor. Chinese carp. Oh, it's a long fish. Longer than what I thought. We should have one 1.2 meters then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, boy. <laughs> Potato! Well, we've literally just sat down after putting that Siamese back. It's gone again. Big fish, this. Going out a long way. Have you got a rod a long way out? How, how far out? It's okay. Oh, that's fine then. It's fine. It's gone out, but it's quite a long way out. It's sort of 50 metres out, but they say it's coming, coming back this way now. We could have a, a Siamese afternoon and in Red Sail Corner. That would be something strange. Lovely stuff, Town. Lovely stuff. Whew. Feels like the uh, the weather's changing, and uh, we uh, might have a bit of precipitation a bit later. Don't think it's going to be snow. I'm going to I'm going to wind that predator rod, and he's winding anyway, so I'm going to get rid of it because I think it's a good one. It's not worth the risk. Oh, she's nearly in. She's nearly in. There we go. Here we go, 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 in we go. <laughs> Tony's just said that one and that's basically the rig. It's as simple as you can get. A uh, pineapple and M butyric wafter with a bit of fake corn, four or five inch hook length, and then a method feeder trap with four stops and a bead either side of it. Keep it simple. Get your, get your mix right, get your mix like wet sand and then just keep landing it in the same hole all day. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward but you've just got to keep at it, keep plugging away. Nice mate.
You got a fat ready? Yep, I got one decent one. <laughs> the, the handling expertise <laughs> of a short man with little hands. <laughs> uh, look at him. You don't want to stand next uh, to me in the toilet. <laughs> Stubby. <laughs> Well, it's going nuts. We're getting excited. Two sarnies in, in a matter of minutes. Just put a kebab of fish under the aerator. I've got a red tail now. We're cooking on gas. Red tail number three. And safely in the net. 2.4 in red tails. 3.6 in Siamese yep. at 6 metres and we've got a seven, 70 centimetres with a little Asian so we're on 6.7 6 metres at the moment for today yeah, that'll do we've got, we're up to 10 metres overall so far yeah. pretty little red towel worth its weight in gold if I have it and keep hold of it Yeah, that do. Don't worry. Get it. Harvey's in again. He's absolutely empty in it. <laughs> We're getting a fish about, well, Harvey's getting a fish about every five minutes at the moment. Just had a strange happening on the cart rod as well. Yeah, just missed, a, a, missed a run on, on the cart rod, but we think it was more of a liner. Yeah, it was quite slow, wasn't it? Hi. We'll be back when we're netting the fish. Just about to net it. Up he comes. What's well, good fishing all? No, he ain't ready yet. He didn't like that. There he goes. In the net. Oh, my Buddha. Oh. I think I've got her in a bit fast. He's good. <laughs> covering, covering the lens with water, but never mind. There we go. Yep, lovely. Lovely stuff, brilliant. Wow. Lovely jubbly. Oh. Yes. Oh, just chopping up a bit of fish, and uh, he meows having all the little tails. That we're, uh, we're cutting off. Little bugger, she's starving. She's bringing us some luck today though, so uh, we better keep her happy. You see, meow. Just fishing three bits of fish on, on a hair. A little kebab. A red tail kebab. Seems to be doing the trick. Probably. Oh, wait, get it. There's your tail. There he is, look. There, look. Well, we, uh, we've been, we've panicked a bit there. Didn't realize I had the camera on. Got an arrow palmer on. Got a strand fish. It's fucking upside down, this way. No, no, I've, I've turned it around so the button's on the thing. Oh, we playing an Arnold Palmer. It's not a huge one, but it's a bonus. Trixie little green one. She's in. She's in. Yes. There's another two meters. Thank you very big. <laughs> Harvey with his Arnold.
It's only a little baby one. <laughs> yeah, loads, mate. <laughs> Arapalm has just gone back and Tony's changed to a heavy lead and we've banged them both down towards the air and now it seems to be the most productive line for the predators. Carp's gone a bit quiet and we're just having a, a squall come in. It's uh, coming over from behind us and we could get a, a bit of rain so uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, just seeing a bite. Tony, is something happening on yours? There's something happening on yours, mate. There's something around it. Something's happening. Something's. No, it's not. Let me get the bite. up to 9.5 meters for the day plus the 3.6 we have from before uh, so just over 13 meters now 13.1 I believe uh, we I think 26 might do it It'd be lovely to get to 27 obviously um, so being on 13 now we could do with another I don't know three or four meters today would be, be lovely and then uh, we can go again tomorrow. Oh, I just had a bang. Just had a bang. Let's draw back a bit. Stuff going on. Let's see if we can uh, see if we get a bite on film. A big one behind you, there, Dad. Emiel's been our lucky mascot for the day. Mini Emiel, Mr. Emiel. Um, yeah. Hey, little monkey. Hey. Loves it. But uh, the, um, over the last few days, um, this swim has produced sort of six or seven fish in the last couple of hours, but we've only got an hour and a half now. I, I thought it was actually about four o'clock. Time's gone gone on a bit, but uh, yeah, another another four fish would be nice. Uh, one of them being an hour and a half. I'm going to get greedy now. We'll have a Siamese as well. So then. Chilled right out. Probably full actually after all the fish is out. Mr. Emu. Carp, rod, carp rod's gone again. It's about uh, loads of bubbles there, lots of fish just moved. There's some fish in the swim, they've spooked off. Feels like a good one. The way he's going. Double hook up, Tony's in, playing me Siamese. Yeah. Bullied the fuck out of him. Let's hope the Siamese follows. Tony might be able to do one. Be able to do us a double photo. Be able to do us a double photo if if we if we if we 
Getting in. <laughs> oh, I was going to have the ump because I missed the net in of that one. <laughs> Chatting. But we've got a double look up here. We've got like what looks to be 70 pound Siamese, maybe a bit bigger. And uh, nice probably a 30, 40 pound red tail. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Look at that. What a double hook up. Cracking Siamese and a red tail. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Hit the white button. See if you can get the camera down a bit lower. That's lovely. What a behaving. Ain't they just? <laughs> Nice one, Tom. Well, we just had a bit of drama there. Yeah, the, no, no. Excellent. Excellent. the the carp rod uh, went off, and uh, I think it was a liner. And, uh, and then, as I was resetting the carp rod, the predator rod went, and Tony's got a red tail here, and uh, we're looking good. And she's in the net, back of the net. Happens, happens. Got to run on the carp rod. A lot of bubbles off the, lots of bubbles off the spot there where a few fish have kicked off. They're they're queued up. Brilliant. Oh, there's a beautiful sky behind you there. It's a shame, you know, Tony's in front. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Nearly. Nearly. Yeah. Come on, turn, 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 turn. He's in there. That's a good fish. That fish is, could be under a pound. Yeah. Get in. Little bugger. Good job, guys. On the bottom. Swim number 11. Yeah, come on. And he wouldn't, and he wouldn't give me the hundred pounds. Who was that? Who was it? Tip. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, full club, kilos, ninety-nine pounds. Ah! 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 
because it doesn't sound like it's been loads coming out. The lads that were in first had an Arapama, so they would have got themselves to 22 metres. They might have had something else which we didn't see. We'll find out in a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, pick up the pool's money, which is about 125 quid, I believe. That'll be a nice one. Get a few drinks, everyone, and uh, enjoy the Thai buffet. And uh, yeah, just fantastic. What a cracking day. We 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 expected to have a good day, but um, saying it's one thing, doing it's another, and doing it with Siamese uh, was lovely. Um, if the Siamese hadn't fed, we'd have had a very average day. So that made all the difference. Um, well, on to the uh, presentation this evening. We're even having a beer in the shower. Ah, it's that sort of day. Arapama on. Come on. Uh, let's take a look at the scoreboard. Uh, it, was a, it was a good day. Lots of fish caught, caught but there was also, also three bikes. I think there was uh, more, more fish caught than any other day. Lots of action on the scoreboard. Tony's uh, moved up in the first place. Consistent Darren and Kevin are now tied for second. And with Simon and Lee. Uh, right behind them, we have the Pattaya Slappers with John and Tony. So they did, uh, I gotta take my hat to those guys today. They caught five Siamese in swim number 11. And they've caught more Siamese than anyone on the lake. But that's uh, simply because that technique that they're using, which was mentioned to everyone, no one's able to fish it the whole day because they get bored and switch to something else. So that's why they're being consistent with, uh, with the number of Siamese they've caught. It's a squeeze. You're not, you're not going to come here, Tony. Yeah. Tom, make sure it's not going to get this snap in the car. <laughs> There's two inches in there. There's a big one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she didn't hear, did she? <laughs> so, to move us to the last day, guys. Um, that's what we've been doing for the last couple of days. Turn up, try new artists, don't give other points on people and stuff. Um, but just have a good day, see if we can get some more, <laughs> some more quality fish, basically. Cheers, guys. Just like they're having the tea, they said they're all going to start buying from this. Look at that fucker go around, That's going to work at all, because anyway, I put that grand in, and after four days, I took the wet. Collins up for it. I took the grand out, and then it went again, so I took another grand out. I've never seen Orton uh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Both eyes. Both <laughs> eyes. That is ridiculous. I'm always going to be my friend then. What? 
Oh, what's it? It's on the uh, towel. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> John, have a go at that. There was a lad called Stuart in our, in our oh, fishing club. Yeah, I called John Gray. He died and he willed us a few things to be white ass for his ashes to be spread on the River Seven. So the bars that we were drinking are right along the River Seven, and then there's a lovely bridge that goes over. So in Beaudley itself? Yeah. yeah. I fished right. below it, I've trotted yeah. below it. Yeah, I've caught my first barbell, was cool. And yeah. that's where that pub is. Oh, oh mate, right. I, I do know it. it. Like You've got, got railings. Uh, that's right, that's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 I know that's it. exactly where it was. Yeah. So we, we were there, and after a and numerous pints, one of us went, oh, this pub. Pub. Say, we haven't done the ashes. Tony, we won't do the ashes. And he took it and he's at the middle of the bridge, and I just remember, we all got our balls out, ready to video it. He said, you ready? He said, yeah, he said, right. Minutes, he was like, okay. and everybody in the Best pub was doing the chair man, because he just it's noticed him. After yeah. whatever, see you later, mate. And he went like that, and there were a boat race, and they were going underneath. <laughs> <laughs> and he covered these women, and they were women, they covered them in grey dust. They looked like him when he did the pipe. Oh, they were all up. <laughs> Crashed the boat. Unbelievable. We had timing was. <laughs> what happened was the wind. When I dropped it with the wind under the tongue, yeah, yeah. it just sucked it. It all started completely.